Welcome to Culture Talk. This is the segment where we talk about culturally relevant topics that you can use to start conversations about your faith. And I'm happy to be joined today with director and actor Kevin Sorbo. Thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. It's good to be here. Yeah, we're going to be talking about your latest film, Against the Tide. My goodness, we just watched it. And it's so powerful because you and Dr. Lennox, Dr. John Lennox, go from Oxford to Israel, really unpacking the scientific and theological evidence for God's existence. Let me ask you for your, for your experience, what was the most powerful bit of evidence for you? Um, wow, the most powerful bit of evidence. You know, here, here's the thing. I mean, to go to, number one, just to go to Oxford, England, and walk through that amazing uh, place that has, you know, a Kodak moment everywhere you turn, they realize how many universities are in that area. They're everywhere. And um, uh, John, you know, when he, we decided to go down to Israel. I'd never been to Israel before. So this is pretty amazing for me to do this. But the one thing that probably struck me the most, just from a spiritual standpoint, was when I was able, and John didn't even go up there with me, I was able to go up and stand on the exact same balcony that Pilate was on when he said, which of these two men do you want me to save and which one do you want me to crucify? And even the guy that brought me up in this little tiny elevator wouldn't get out there with me, says, I'm not allowed to go out there. I went, well, why am I allowed? He goes, well, I guess you're special. I go, I don't know if I'm special, but I was blown away to walk out there and stand on that stage and watch that. Um, really, I'm just the guide in this thing. I'm the guy that's on camera. I narrate it. John is the force behind this thing. John's intellect, his knowledge, uh, it, I, I, we could only wish to be as, as really educated as he is with the apologetics that he has. And this movie, to me, is going to be an amazing weapon for people to use to take bullet points down to watch it over and over again, to have the chance to sit there and have good debates with people. Because a lot of my atheist friends will just say, well, science proves God doesn't exist. And I go, well, how does it prove it doesn't exist? And they go, well, it's science. <laughs> so it's just a broad term they just like to throw out. And um, to me, it's like, okay, you still haven't proved that he doesn't exist. And they go, well, you haven't um, that he doesn't exist. And you say, well, you don't prove that he has existed. And for me, it really comes down to, um, I don't believe you can get something from nothing. Every time I look at a building, let alone a tree, let alone a car, somebody built these things. Some of these things, something happened somehow. Uh, so as far as the world, the universe, all the planets and stars, and forever and ever as, as this universe expands, um, somebody did it. And it wasn't you and it wasn't me. So that is the only argument that I really have for it. But John looks at it a far more intelligent way. And I'd rather have him speak to you about that than me. He's much more the scholar on this than I am. I love hearing your perspective, though, and I think our viewers will as well, because you come from Hollywood and you kind of delved into the world of apologetics. And I love hearing about your journey as an actor. Um, what have been some of the challenges that you face as a Christian in Hollywood and how has apologetics <laughs> helped you speak into that? Well, um, I'm, from, I'm not really from Hollywood. I'm from a little town in Minnesota, but I did go out there not knowing a soul when I pursued that actor's dream. But I've always been a Christian, so that's always been part of my uh, part of my faith ever since I was a little kid. Uh, for me, it's just uh, I'm, I'm so thankful that the road that I was led down now is to do movies that have a good message. Um, Hollywood can do the movies they want to do, but I want to do movies that have hope, have love, have redemption, have faith, have a chance to uh, turn your life around if you're going down the wrong road. So I'm doing more and more movies like that now. Yeah, well, it's great to just have you on to be talking about this film in particular, because it is, I think, going to be a, a wonderful tool to equip viewers to speak mm -hmm. into these conversations and to do so with kindness and with um, just really knowledge of the evidence supporting the Christian faith. Going back to evidence, is there a particular piece of evidence that you find very useful in conversations? If someone just comes to you and they don't believe in God and they, they don't want to explore that, what would be one way that you can just have a, a starting conversation with them? Well, starting conversation, I lead them to this movie to begin with, for, for, yeah. sure, for sure. But, um, you know, John had so many different examples of, of uh, you know, why he believes in God, why he believes in the Bible, why he believes in Jesus. To me, there is nobody, even atheists, that cannot disprove that Jesus existed. And I think that was the biggest thing, the point that John made to me, that no matter what you think about what God or not believing in God, Jesus did exist. And there is no cemetery that holds his body. 
There is no place that in Israel, anywhere around there, where Jesus is buried. And there's no other religion that has, uh, has a resurrection. So to me, that is the greatest evidence that there is a God and that God does exist. Well, thank you so much for that. I'm excited to point our viewers to check out your film. Again, it's called Against the Tide. So if you're interested in watching this film, you can go to againstthetide.movie to find out how you can watch. Thanks again, Kevin. Thank you.